In a game that saw the lead change four times, mostly in a highly competitive second half, the Spartans erased an eight-point deficit en route to picking up their first conference win of the 2015 season. We welcome you back inside the Hodge Center as we take a look back at this basketball game and the intensity that Upstate came out of the locker room with in the second half really made all the difference, Tom. Yeah, down 38-30 at half and actually got off to a, a 4 nothing lead and uh, got behind, but uh, in the second half able to get a lot of things done, particularly in the offensive end, and they turned it over in the defensive end. There you saw Haddock hit one. Starling was able to get loose inside. Nice pass, and again, we'll put that up uh, over Father Gill there. And, Say a good job to start things off in the second half. So many different contributors. The Spartans have four in double figures in this basketball game, and it seemed like when they needed a big shot, they got it often from the outside. Well, they did, and Raven Jefferson, you saw there, she scored seven of the points in that 12 0 run to give them the lead. Charmaine Edwards came to life in the second half as well. We'll talk about her in just a minute. Another of her big threes right there. Yeah, the left-hander able to heat it up. We saw that against Kennesaw State as well, but uh, much more so with 17 of the second half in this one and long range and able to get out of the break as well. Talk about Edwards and what she was able to accomplish. Brittany Starling, a huge game as well in this one. They are our Spartans of the game. Edwards because she led the way with 20 points overall. And Brittany Starling, who just continues to add to her career numbers here at Upstate, 600 rebounds now. That's ninth all time after pulling down a double-double in rebounds and points scored. She ends the night with 14 points, and that put her in 16th all time in scoring here in Upstate. She continues to climb the ladder, Tom. Yeah, her fifth double-double of the year, coming off just three points last time out against Kennesaw State, seven against Furman. Nice to see her bounce back. And then Edwards has been coming off the bench the last two games, been in double figures in both, and she was instrumental from long range to get things going, to get back in touch, to get the lead and maintain it. We talked about Edwards always elevating her game in big moments. Well, this is a game Upstate really needed because of what was coming ahead. And here's some of the numbers that will give you a sense of how they accomplished this first A-Sun victory. Well, I mean, you look at that and you'll see 42.9% for Lipscomb three-point range. But, you know, 8 of 13 of those in the first half, 1 of 8 of the second half. And Upstate only 28.6, but 4 of those came in the second half and did a nice job uh, off the bench with those 22 points to just 6. Lipscomb didn't uh, uh, have many people come off the bench. And a couple of injuries in this ball game for the Spartans as well, so it's a nice one. It's big big difference was the upstate defense down the stretch making certainly the Spartans offense come to life as well. Well you look back at this game we talk about the first A Sun Conference victory you look at the standings in the Atlantic Sun Conference and what made this so important Upstate getting ready to go down a brutal stretch as they head out on the road. They're going to be at Northern Kentucky. Then they'll play Florida Gulf Coast and Stetson back-to-back -back on the road as well. The top-tier teams in the Atlantic Sun Conference are waiting in the wings. That's why this was a must-win almost for Upstate on their home floor. Yeah, we talked about how big the second half was going to be and how important it was going to be for just the second game of the year. And they got it done in the second half, that's for sure. Well, several ways to keep up with this Upstate team as they get ready to go on that tough stretch. One of the ways, center court every Wednesday night. That show released gives you an inside look at some of the players, uh, thoughts of the coaches, everything coming up in the Upstate basketball program, both on the men's and women's side. Make sure you watch that as it comes out each Wednesday night. And around 6 p.m. each Wednesday, you get a chance to visit the Spartans with center court. Also, our next broadcast coming up will be on Saturday. It is Hall of Fame Saturday here on the campus of USC Upstate. The Northern Kentucky Norse will be in town to take on the Upstate men who try to bounce back after a tough loss on the road at Lipscomb. All that and more coming up as Upstate Spartan Athletic rolls forward. But on this night, it's the USC Upstate women's team securing a 71-68 win, their first of the conference season against the Lady Bisons of Lipscomb.